Rocky D2 by Taylor Schrader and Thomas Rohde. Lockheed Martin, also called Skunk Works, was the inventor of this plane and many other great planes that had amazing capabilities. The U-2 is the most important spy plane ever made and has the most advanced technology reconnaissance and spying has ever seen. The Lockheed U-2 was created in 1955. This plane could fly 90,000 feet in the air, causing which that the pilots had to wear pressurized suits with oxygen pumps. The designer and inventor of this plane was Vice President of Lockheed, Clarence L. Kelly Johnson. The Lockheed U-2 was a one-seat high-flying plane. The trainer planes had two seats, so there could be a co-pilot and a, an actual pilot. The Lockheed U-2 was invented in 1955 and has many different upgrades. The U-2 is still used today. With only two wheels custom built into the plane, the U-2 had to have specialized wheels called pogos underneath the wing in order to take off. These pogos are left on the ground after the plane takes flight. In order to spy on the enemy, the U-2 had to be able to fly above radar. With its glider-like wings, the U-2 was able to cut off its engines and glide in circles. The U-2's job was to spy on an enemy and take pictures with its high-powered camera. Lockheed U-2 specifications. It could hold one person unless it was a trainer plane, and then which it could hold two. It had a length of 63 feet, or 19.2 meters. Its wingspan, from wing to wing, was 103 feet, or 31.4 meters. Its height is 16 feet, or 4.88 meters. Its empty weight, with all of its basic equipment, is 14,300 pounds. Maximum takeoff weight is 40,000 pounds. It uses a General Electric F- 118-101 turbofan. Its maximum speed is 500 miles per hour. Its service ceiling is 85,000 feet and the longest it can be in flight is 12 hours. The U-2 was mostly used in the Cold War. The U-2 was almost never shot down because it flew so high above other planes service ceiling.
U2 only had two wheels on the body, so it was had trouble landing. The wings would tilt and scrape the ground, thus turning the plane. This helps prove the name that the plane was given of the hardest plane to pilot in the world. The U-2 had no weapons and no way to defend itself, other than to fly above other planes. Francis Gary Powers was a U-2 pilot with one of the most famous crashes of all time. He was spying over the Soviet Union, and he was shot down by an S-75 Davina, a surface-to-air missile. Francis failed to activate the plane's self-destruct sequence, and the plane was still intact when it hit the ground. He f didn't use a cyanide pill, so he told the Russians a lot about the U.S. missions. He... When he returned, he had a cold welcome. When the U-2 would land on an airstrip, it had to be chased and monitored by cars speeding after it. Despite its trouble with landing and taking off, the U-2 was still able to land and take off from an aircraft carrier. Since it was first used, the U-2 has almost never been shot down. The U-2 was also used by NASA for training astronauts to handle at high altitudes. In the early years that the U-2 was used, it was mostly kept a secret in fear that any enemy would find out about the technology we used and the plans that we made. The U-2 is an amazing plane and has been used for over 50 years.